I'll be taking this home with me too. The chapter three? Yeah, the chapter three. I'll just hide it under my shirt. Sorry I look really rough today, guys, but uh, in all honesty, if you wanted looks, what are you doing on my channel, right? In this video, I really, really want to talk about the Brompton Chapter 3. A couple of weekends ago, I got the chance to put my hands on my first Brompton Chapter 3. It was a nice bike. It really was. But it begs the question, and this is the question that everybody wants to ask, and that is, is the Brompton Chapter 3 worth it? In this video, we're gonna talk about the Brompton Chapter 3. I'm gonna tell you what it is and what it isn't. You know, because I think a lot of people have really unrealistic expectations about this bike. And I wanna clear up any misconceptions that anybody might have. And we're gonna talk about the differences between the Brompton Chapter 3 and a regular Brompton Superlight and a regular Brompton for that matter. But most importantly, we are going to answer the question that I know all of you are dying to know. And that is, is the Brompton Chapter 3 worth it? Let's go ahead and answer the question. Is the Brompton Chapter 3 worth it? Well, maybe. Boo! Boo! I know, I know what you guys are saying. You want a more solid, definitive answer. You want me to say, yes, the Brompton Chapter 3 is worth every shuckle that you spend on it. But it's more complicated than that, guys. It's way more complicated than that. So first we got to talk about what is a Brompton Chapter 3? What is it? So in order to know what a Brompton Chapter 3 is, we have to look at a regular Brompton. And this is a regular Brompton. And if you don't know what a regular Brompton is, what have you been hiding under a rock all your life? No, but a regular Brompton has option packages. Okay, you can get optional handlebars, you can get optional gearing, you can get optional, you know, color schemes, whatever. You can get options on a regular Brompton. And depending on what options you get, the bike can cost anywhere from $1,200 to $2,000. If you get the electric version, it could get to $3,500. So there are options that you can get for a regular Brompton, right? And that drives the price up. But you are getting something for that money. You are getting options, like if you want a rear rack, if you want fenders, if you want uh, all black edition, if you want uh, six speed gearing, if you want the M style handlebars or the P style handlebars or the regular S bars like I'm a big fan of. Depending on which option you get, the price can go up. If you get the electric version, it can go up even further. Now, Brompton does make what they call a super light model. Now, I don't know where they get the term super light from because I picked up a super light and I picked up a regular Brompton and they don't weigh that much of a difference to me. I mean, maybe I'm a little bit weaker in this arm than this arm and they kind of balance themselves out. I don't know, but when I lift them up, they feel not that much different to me. What is a super light? Well, basically a super light has the titanium rear triangle and the titanium front fork and there might be some other things on it, but mostly it's just that titanium front fork and that titanium rear triangle. Now, how much does that save? Well, it saves about a kilogram and maybe a couple pounds, maybe two pounds or something like that. Not very much. Now, the first thing everybody says to me is, Brian, that two pounds is two pounds. It can mean the world of difference, you know? Well, let me tell you something. The reason why the Brompton Superlight is, is a thing at all is because the Brompton is one of those bikes that you fold up and you take onto a commuter train. You know, they wanted to make it lighter because they know people carry it around. And sometimes you're going through a long train station. Let's say you're going through Grand Central Station and you've got to carry the Brompton all the way over to gate 37. And you're like, oh my God, it's just gonna, oh, I gotta carry this thing all the way over there. Well, let me tell you something. The super light isn't super light. It's a little bit lighter, but it's not super light. When I'm carrying the Brompton super light or I'm carrying the regular Brompton, you know, after a while my arm gets tired and I have to set the bike down for a second and let the thing rest a little bit, right? Well, with the super light, I could probably take six to 10 steps further than I could if I was just carrying the regular Brompton. See, it's light. Oh yeah, this is the best. I could carry two or three of these. So, not that much difference in my opinion. They're both still pretty heavy. You're going to have to rest your arm 
regardless of which one you're carrying in. Now, chapter three is essentially a Brompton Superlight. Here I am talking with Chuck about the differences, and I ask him specifically, what is the difference between a Brompton Chapter 3 and a Superlight, and this is what he said. How much different are these than a regular Superlight? They are not at all. I didn't think there was too I mean, much other, other than Other than paint. Yeah, not that much difference, right? Well, um, we looked at some of the features and some of the things that are a little bit different on the Brompton Chapter 3, and those things are these. Different saddle, as you mentioned. It's got a different clamp, clamp different clip clamps here. These are actually heavier than the stock plastic one. Um, what these, about these, these, uh, these the suspension grips, blocks? The suspension block is a little bit firmer, and it's red. But uh, gearing and all the everything else is exactly the same. The tires are unique to Chapter Three um, in terms of stock Brompton. Um, they are available aftermarket. You know, I sell those tires, so anyone could buy them. They're a little bit wider. So stock tire on a Brompton is 30, uh, 35, and I think these are thirty-seven or thirty-eight. So they definitely probably grip better. Tiny bit wider, yep. The grips look like just regular uh, ergon? Yeah, these are just standard ergons. Yep. Yeah, you could probably buy the exact same ones. Yep. Because I know they make a lot of colors. Yep. A little bit different clamps on it. Yeah. I really like the seat clamp on it. It's got a really nice seat clamp. Now, is that just something they're doing with the Chapter 3? Yes. Because uh, I didn't notice any of the newer ones that had that. And they got the titanium front forks and rear triangle. Right. Still pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean it's it's the same as a as a stock Brompton Superlight. So that's pretty cool, right? I mean, there are a little bit of differences here and there. I mean, some things that are exclusive, like the seat, that fabric seat, that fabric scoop seat, you can buy that exact same seat. The only difference is, is the color scheme pattern on it or the little pattern on it. Uh, the same thing with the Aragon grips. You can go online and buy those same grips. I mean, exact same grips. You can go buy a better suspension block. I mean, really, what's the difference besides the color scheme, the paint scheme? And a lot of people would say, well, you know, there's not a lot of difference, but the price is way higher. So why is that? Why is it? Well, that's what we got to talk about, guys. We have to talk about these things because a lot of people might order this bike thinking it is a super bike. I had a lot of misconceptions about this bike. I was thinking this bike was just so much better than a regular Brompton. You know, I had those thoughts. And I know a lot of other people do. The Brompton Chapter 3, just at retail cost, that's not any markups that people want to mark it up because of demand. That's not that. Just at retail cost, it's twice the cost of my Black Edition S6R. So that's quite a hefty little price tag. And a lot of people might think, well, because you're spending twice the amount, you're getting twice the bike. That's what we need to really talk about. Is it worth the price? That's why I say a maybe, because it depends on why you want the bike. If you want the bike because you think it is some indestructible piece of machinery that is so fast, I mean, it's light speed fast. If you think it's so durable, like it's built with Wolverine's adamantium skeleton, I mean, it's just so indestructible that if the Earth blew up tomorrow, the Brompton would more than likely be floating around in space somewhere for some alien race to discover it and fall in love with it. If you think that about the Brompton Chapter 3, you are going to be sorely disappointed when you actually get that bike because it's none of those things. So what is the Chapter 3? Well, it is basically an exclusive Brompton. The exclusive paint scheme, the exclusive serial number. It is basically a bike to show off to your Brompton buddies to get those Brompton brownie points. That's what it is. If you want to be in the Brompton Inn Club, that's the bike to have. So it is a cool bike. I like it. I would really like to have one. I don't know if I'd spend four grand on it or even more in some cases. I don't know if I'd spend that much money on it, but I'd really like to have one. Who wouldn't want to be a part of the Brompton Exclusive Club? I would. I'm not cool enough to be, but <laughs> I would definitely like to be a part of that club. But like I said, very hard bike to get a hold of, even if you do have the green, you know what I mean? 
So with that being said, guys, I hope that this video kind of explains what the chapter three is and what it isn't, okay? It is just a Brompton, and it is not that much different than a regular Brompton. The baseline Brompton is not that much different because it doesn't even come with a rack. It doesn't come with fenders. It's like an E-model. It basically is bare bones. It has a few little performance tweaks like tires and suspension block and some nice little exclusive accessories. But for the most part, it's just a basic Brompton with a nice color scheme. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave it down in the comment and questions section. Slap a like on the video if you like it. And I will talk with you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.